All right, I'm back. I had to break that up a little bit. Running out of space. All right, so now you have those four exercises. Now let's put them together the way I uh, would like you to do them. Like I said, you're coupling. So you're coupling the uh, push-up with the with the single leg deadlift and double leg deadlift. So let's start off. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do a decent warm up. You know, if you're starting, you, you could just be a brisk walk. Get warmed up, get the body going. Maybe some uh, jumping jacks for time. Uh, once you feel pretty good, like I said, you could even go through the motions of these exercises as your warm up because it's, that's that's how basic it is. So, what you're gonna do is, real quick, once you've got your warm up done, you're gonna do a five minute set around, as like I like to call it, of the two uh, first two exercises. So first we have your push-up. So you set a, a clock, have a friend. Like I said, you can do it anywhere at the gym. Just have a stopwatch. Um, so you're going to do for five minutes, back and forth, the two exercises, push-ups and the stiff-legged deadlifts and double deadlifts. Um, so five minutes, you're going to do five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, whatever your variation is. Once you get those five push-ups in, you go right to the stiff-legged deadlift. So like what I said is one single, one single, then one double. That's one rep. You're going to do five of those. Once you do the five, you go back to the push-ups. Five sets, five reps of push-ups, five uh, deadlifts, single and double leg. All right? Once you go through five minutes of that, you go on to the next exercises next couple so you do those two for five minutes straight back and forth back and forth once that's set and done you go on to the pull uh, the squat and the uh, rolling variation you couple those together all right so I set my rope my uh, my bands up there and just do exactly what I show you right here you do five five reps of each again you're going for five minutes so you do five uh, squats and then right into the five rows. You're gonna hold on to the bands, set up the bands wherever you can so that you can get this done. All right, here's my example. <laughs> Grab these bands. All right, now I go into my squat. One, two, three, four, five. I sit right there. One, two, three, four, five. Boom, up, one, two, three, four, five, sit, one, two, three, four, five. All right, if you're doing obviously without a, a, a chair or a bench or whatever the case may be, then you don't sit down, you just hold the up position or the down position if you want to make it a little harder when you do the rows. So again, five minutes, five squats, right to five rows, and you keep going back and forth, back and forth. Till the five minutes are up and again both of these you're trying to get it all done with no rest as little rest as possible obviously as you go on with your uh, workouts uh, the same workout your rest shouldn't decrease as you go on all right all right then the last move all right and now your last move once you've done that five uh, five minutes of the push-up and the Stiff legged like deadlift variation for five minutes, and then you did the uh, squat and rowing variation for five minutes. Now, the last thing if you have to catch your breath, whatever it is, get it done. And the last movement is the burpee, or what I like to call the squat thrust. Um, and you're just doing 15 reps, 15 reps that's it, good form, um, and get it done 15 as fast as you can with good form. All right, basic again. Feet shoulder width apart, hands come in close, you're squatting down, put your hands on the ground, kicking your feet back, kicking them back in, and you're up, and you're up. Coming straight down, good position, hands down, extend your feet, come back in, and up. If you have to, step back, step back in, come straight up, that's fine, whatever variation you need. Like I said, just get it done. Watch your form. If your form breaks, slow down because you're speeding up. All right. And like I said, your goal is time. This is a short workout. Um, 
so you have no excuses not to do it all right um, I have description written out also with this so you know and just and any more information that I forgot to state and that's it any questions or concerns please let me know and um, I would recommend doing this maybe three days a week at least a day in between and then on those other days definitely do something um, some sort of conditioning walking whatever whatever your fitness level is at do something uh, to better yourself uh, cardio cardiovascular wise all right uh, like I said any questions let me know and uh, I'll look for updates and then I'll, and I'll probably update this workout with ways to increase the intensity and stuff like that all right so keep it basic for a couple weeks and uh, let me know how it goes